you know, LinkedIn is also uh, should be much more, I would say, defended or protected from bots because look, uh, in LinkedIn, there's a lot of layers, right? You write your biography. Yeah, I'm gonna get to that. That's 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 a point. But you can you you can really verify if a person is a bot or not. It's a much better verifiable you know platform because you can verify you know the the biography of the person. You know they have uh, their education, where they work, all of the connections that they have. You know and things like you know uh, your photos. Everything is right there. And then people who know you from the professional network, they're gonna start saying. Oh, this guy has this skill, this skill, this skill. They're going to actually rank you and they're going to give you the stories of their professional experience with you. So you're literally building sort of, you know, your legitimate profile. But so you should be at the level of LinkedIn, be able to verify if the account is a bot or not, if it's a troll or not, much more easily than Twitter or Facebook or some other accounts. So you would expect that LinkedIn is not as susceptible to these bots. But unfortunately, as we have seen, you, I, those who have been banned from LinkedIn, that it's not the case. And precisely because there is a monetary component that is attached to it. And so the LinkedIn is going to be paid. You know, if you do a paid campaign through the LinkedIn, you know, uh, they th that you will be charged for each visit, let's say. So let's say that the campaign is structured in such a way that each visit that comes to you, that's, a, you know, a, a three cents that will be charged to your account. So they actually are incentivized to keep the number of users as big as possible. And they don't even care who those users are. And so that's even though they, they have a system that they can truly verify a much better at least system to verify if the account is a bot or not. But they also have this financial incentive that is going to say, hey, keep as many accounts as possible, you know. Uh, and so that that's that's the problem. That's the problem at, at its face. Yeah, it's, that's the, the perverse incentive between credibility on one hand, because you need a good brand and you need to sell stuff, and sheer numbers on the other hand. And you, you can't have both. And the danger that we have today, or since last year really, is that the credibility is only lost to a select few because it's only the people who care, who are targeted by the bots, who are dropping off the network that you lose credibility with, not with the masses. Because let's be honest, if, if this right. stuff started, uh, caused uh, LinkedIn to lose credibility with the masses, the same way link, uh, Twitter's uh, reputation went down the, ran, went down the, the cat litter basket, they would be doing a whole lot more about it. But in like 2020 or 2020, 2021, the biggest uh, source of bot problems on LinkedIn was people trying to sell you crypto. That was it. And with all yes. due respect, that, those might have been the very same bot accounts, just running running shop from, from Russia, from China, from, from various developing nations where, where, it, where it's cheap. Um, and back then, I, I was post, uh, posting and writing about all kinds of data ethics issues, about the farmer protests in India, about Julian Assange, about WikiLeaks stuff, over and over. I've been doing that for years. Never, ever was I reported or banned until I started writing about Ukraine. And that is the scary part to me. That is my data set going like, hey, this is weird. Because suddenly my posts are disappearing because one post gets mass reported for this is bullying. This is harassment. This is racism. This is fake news. Usually completely unfounded and not even related to the post at hand. But, and there we get the mechanism, if 10 to 20 accounts, bot or not, report your post all for the same stuff, the algorithm automatically blocks and removes the post. Because if 20 people say it's, it's harassment, then it's probably harassment. But if you do that to three or four different posts of the same person in one day, their account gets auto-locked and banned yeah. because this person is posting too much bad shit, bro. And that's how uh, last summer I lost my account for, for, uh, for a few days. Just yeah. couldn't, couldn't log in anymore. And I had no clue what happened because most likely theory, a bot network started mass reporting my posts. Yeah. yeah and sometimes well, they me, can... 
report posts that are several months old or several weeks old and then all of a sudden it gets flagged up, you know? That that half a year ago. Yeah. That happened to me too. The popular yeah, but, ones. If they're not yeah, popular, the popular, they don't ones. care. The popular ones, that's that really was the case for me. You know, it's the viral post that literally exploded. And the the the, the scary part was that those were actually sort of a good post, right? There is I don't even have to say, you know, I can say something encouraging, like, you know, saying like the Ukrainian offensive, you know, has uh, retaken Kherson or something like this. And like, there's nothing, really nothing. And then just people, uh, you know, if the bots, enough of them going to get on it and say, well, this is one of the three. Uh, or maybe even another reason to to cite, uh, and then basically that's it. The, the the post gets blocked, and you get banned. Mm. And it's so. Here's you know for you guys the dilemma. You know how do we deal with this? How do we? What are the ways to fight this? Is there? Can we? You know, increase our chances in this battle because we even you have a brotherhood of those who have been banned. You know, but that's. You know, that's not a solution, right? You know, just getting together exposed after, you know, we all suffered the same fate. Uh, you know, we there's a way, you know, I'm, I'm still don't know the solution. That's why I'm posting this, this question to you and to the audience who are listening to us. You know, how do we do this? I'll, to I'll this, to you. our audience, we wanted to invite more people, but they got banned, just so we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 